Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, 13th? 13th to the 14th. I have decided to use this vice versa deck, and I, I cut the deck twice, twice. I did it before, like half an hour ago, I tried, figured I was going to use this deck, and I cut it to this card. And then I closed it back up. I closed it back up and I cut it again to this card. So this is obviously the freaking card that we need. So here we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is somebody that is finding the courage to either move out of a situation swiftly or heading towards his destination very quickly. I mean flying. It's flying. So we do have somebody that is is flying. They're going to be move, making a move and it's going to be happen, happening very quickly. And I just happened to notice what's underneath it, the two of cups. All right. There's a, there's a divine connection here, a perfect match, right? You complete me. You complete me. And here we have the ace of cups. We have the ace of cups. So this is a... A true love connection, and it looks like we have somebody that is headed in the direction to unite with their true love. I mean, these people are so at ease with each other that they don't have to pretend to be anything, okay? It's like they're, they're mirrors, you know, they're mirrors of each other. Um, they're very comfortable with each other. Uh, they can just be themselves, you know? It's just pure, pure love, really. That's what it is. So I think that we have somebody here that is um, finding the courage to go after what they want, you know? They have somebody in mind that they know is perfect for them, and it looks like, I mean, this was right on top of it. It's like, I'm going after my true love. So let's see if it comes up again. So we're keeping that Knight of Swords because, like I said, I cut it twice and there we are. He's going after what he wants. It's like, I'm going to get what I want. And it is in regards to love. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords with her back turned. Now, she's turned her back on the situation. There's no togetherness. And that's what I need. I need some teamwork. She's probably um, removed herself from the situation completely. She's like, you know, you know what? If you don't appreciate me, I'll appreciate myself and come up with a different different perspective whether whether I like it or not I know that I have to come up with another perspective so I'm just going to turn my back on this situation wow wow oh yes see we do have a woman here that that has decided that look at me I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. If, if, if you can't see my worth, then I have so many opportunities that I don't need to even look at you. I don't even need to consider you. I will shut down completely towards my focus of you. It's like I'm not going to focus on you. I'm going to shut that down completely because I know my worth. If you notice, we have the devil. We have the devil. Addictions, lies.
look at the backs, okay? Somebody has definitely turned their back on a situation for good. It's like, you know, you know what? I've dealt with this pain through solitude, okay? But she's done it alone. I've been alone. You left me alone. I've been alone. I had to take this time to... deal with this emotional disappointment and loss. And now it looks like it's time for me to focus on the future. So I feel like we have a woman here that has went through some sort of rebirth. She's, she's felt the pain. Dealt with it. And now she is glowing, absolutely glowing, because she persevered. So now she's focused on the future. It's like, I'm ready to take my step. I'm ready to take my step in a new direction. Seriously, she all, she's, she's just about ready to go down that new road. You know, she's like, she realizes her perspective has changed through loss. There's been a loss. This, there's, a, there's a man that has removed himself from her life. He went in a different direction. Now, if you look now where the cards are, he's headed out. He's in a new direction. I mean, he headed in a different direction. Maybe he involved another person. I don't know. Now... It looks as though she's looking out. She's looking out, out on the horizon. She's like, you know what? If you don't see my worth, then I'm sure that there's, there is somebody else that will. Including myself. There's a lot of self-worth here. So, I mean, three, three, three. Three, three, three. Growth. Change. It's like, now that I have found my self-worth, the options are endless. And I know it. I know it. I know that the options are endless. So we have this, this woman here that has come right into her own. She has. She has come right into her own. And she's moving in a new direction. Completely new direction. It looks like she's going to get exactly what she deserves. And, it, and I think it's basic, It's kind of like the answer to your prayers. 333 three, three is that your prayers have been heard. So it's like you accept. Yesterday's reading was kind of like about acceptance. So this kind of makes sense. I accept. I accept that this loss. I accept that you left me. And I deserve appreciation and I deserve togetherness and I'm going to get prepared. I'm going to prepare myself. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to take care of business on my own and I'm going to be happy about it. And I am very happy about it. It's like I know that I am going to receive a reward for the pain that I have been put through. So I think that we have somebody here that has endured quite a bit of pain. And now they're about to receive their reward, okay? Because the Empress receives reward, rewards for her suffering and her perseverance and her unconditional love. So it looks as though... There's a new path that is being accepted. And there could be even a move here. Somebody, we may have a woman that is deciding to move. I mean, literally pack her shit and move to a new dis destination. Okay? It's like, you know what? I'm taking the lead now. I'm the boss. I'm in control. I'm going after what I deserve. And she's going to get what she deserves. There's another opportunity here because this woman is the pick of the litter. She's the pick of the, the litter because of her morals. You know, she's, she's learned from her experiences. So it looks as though we have somebody that is 
moving in a new direction. Towards getting something that they that they do deserve. Okay, you're gonna get something out of this by taking that leap of faith, by by taking that step. Stepping into the unknown, making that decision. It, it's as though this woman is at the pivotal point of making that decision to move. I'm moving. After she really thought about staying and holding on, perhaps for the stability of it. You know, you gotta think about this devil card. The devil card is very is driven by ego. The the devil is a card of ego. It really is. So it looks as though an ego is driven by materialism. I could, I mean, this could go on and on and on. But anyway. In this situation, it's like somebody has stayed in a situation for one, for codependency reasons, two, for materialistic reasons, and three, because they didn't know what they were worth. And it feels like now we have somebody that is deciding that I know what I'm worth. So they're t they're getting on their chariot and they're moving. They're moving. They're they're headed to a new destination. Now this could this could um, the revelation to make this move could come at night. Okay, all of a sudden you get this revelation. I gotta go. I gotta go. It's time. It's time for me to broaden my horizons. There's plenty of fish in the sea. And I think, and this woman knows it. She knows that there's plenty of fish in the sea. You know, she doesn't need to stay in a situation that is one-sided. I'm looking for equal opportunity here. <laughs> So, yeah, I think that I, what I see is that somebody is letting go of an obsession that they once held on to. We have, we have somebody that um, moved out of a situation, you know, hastily. You know, this person hastily moved out of a situation and left somebody on their own. During this period of loneliness and isolation, this person found and dealt with their pain. You know, they found their strength to deal with their pain, their mental strength. And now they have grown strong enough to put themselves in a new direction. You know, it's like here, they're, they're, here's the loss. It's this person, they, they left you high and dry high and dry and here's the pain that this woman had to deal with it's like or a man okay because we have a man looking at the pain here either way we have a beautiful woman here that knows what she's worth and she's not going to sit around and wait for a man that is never coming not the empress the empress doesn't play that game She does not settle. She turns her back on people that don't know her worth. And here we have letting go of an obsession. So I've, I'm thinking, and there has been obsessions. I'm thinking that we have somebody here that is letting go of this obsession because this person is no longer in the picture. Somebody has... removed themselves they're not even involved anymore they're not even looking in it's like they don't they're not they don't appreciate they don't appreciate you so i feel that the suffering that this person has been through has bringing them brought i can't talk brought them the growth okay because threes are about growth they are it, the suffering has brought this person the growth that they need.
to move in a positive new direction towards victory and success. The the success and the and the reward that they deserve from going through this suffering. So the suffering that you have been through wasn't in vain. And that's what I'm trying to say. This person leaving your life is going to bring you more victory and success. But you have to know what you deserve and make the decision to, to really go down that new road. So I feel as though somebody is, has, it could have been a sudden decision, a sudden decision to move. You know, suddenly I need to move, I need to move. Now, I also see that we have this man that had left. We have this man that had left. And hurt this woman, caused her to retreat. Because he didn't appreciate her. And she deserves appreciation and she knows it. Okay. So it looks as though he is still suffering. And he may but have been, while he was suffering, he may have been getting prepared To head in her direction. To make her an offer. To bring balance back to their relationship. So this could go both ways. We do have somebody that is. Going after this woman. But she's a little bitter. She is a little bitter. But he can't stop thinking about it. This man can't think, stop thinking about what happened. He knows what he did was wrong. And now maybe he appreciates her a little bit more. Because everybody can see her beauty. Everybody can see the person that she is. <laughs> And now, this is letting, remember we had the, the Four of Pentacles, remember I said something about grudges, letting go to bring victory and success. Now, this is fast moving energy, and this one is too, so I'm wondering if this man is that left, let's get some more cards, let's see what the hell this is, this man that left, who keeps going back to the her, I mean, he still, he... He knows what happened. He knows what he did. And he knows that he hurt this woman. And he may have been... Maybe he needed to feel this pain to appreciate her. Maybe she needed to truly turn her back on him to make him f realize what she had to offer. That's what it looks like to me. We have Taurus and Libra, Cancer, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That devil, I just shuffled back on top again. Capricorn, I just shuffled. So this, we, we have a strong bond here, by the way. Look at it. I mean, they're chained. Two people that are chained together. And the, the chain has not been broken yet. It has not. There's a magnetic attraction here beyond explanation, right? These two people, like I remember we saw the two of cups, they're very comfortable with each other. 
It's like the yin and the yang, right? You complete me. Somebody has come to the realization that you complete me. And now they want they want to go after their wish fulfillment. They do. I mean, we have the nine of cups. Remember, I said your prayers, the threes, three, three, three. But the your prayers have been heard. I I always think of this as like an angel that's talking into the or somebody is that that's like one of them whatever horn phones or whatever they are. Anyway, um, it's like your prayers have been heard. And now justice is, is coming to be served. The truth is about to be revealed. This man may have been blinded for some time by his illusions or his, he's blinded or his fantasies or whatever. But it looks like somebody has come to some sort of realization that you complete me. And they may be coming in with some sort of gift that brings balance and harmony and peace back to the situation. Either way, some sort of decision is being made, has been made, to act with integrity. So that whoever this is, whoever this reading is for, whoever, both people can find wish fulfillment. Or at least have closure. Nines are about closure. And, and there's a lack of closure in a situation. There is. It's like this man has been unable to let go of what happened. And I think there's been a third party situation here with all these threes. There has. He may have, you know, rushed into a rebound relationship or something. And now he has come to realize that he's lost his perfect match by doing so. Acting impulsively. Now that this woman has turned her back. She's made the decision to turn her back because she knows her worth. He was faced with the complex decision. Do I let her go? Or do I make a move? And that, there's that decision up there. Do I, do I go or not? What, what do I do? Oh my goodness. I was going to put this Ten of Cups right here. Somebody somebody wants their happiness back. There's an opportunity for happiness here. Extreme happiness with your perfect match. So I feel like there is an opportunity for two people to come together in love. I do. Oh God. Damn, that devil is still on the top. I'm sorry. This is not this is no joke. I've been shuffling and shuffling. Sh same thing happened with this one this morning. So we have a lot of... This is a repeat. Ah ha ha! That's the message. This is a repeat. Okay, this is definitely... Uh, because this card happened twice. And then this was three times I've shuffled this deck, okay? I have. And this card is still here. It's a repeat. So this is a repeat. It's a... It's a relationship coming back around. It is. There's, there's no doubt about it. There's still something that needs to be dealt with here. This is a connection that is not done with yet. Okay. This is some sort of tie that is not broken and it's not over. It's not over. There's, there's still some sort of um, bond that isn't broken and it isn't it isn't closed yet and there's probably a reunion that's what it looks like to me 
I think that's the case. I think that we have this man that is seeing this woman's worth. And I'm going to get a comment on her blow that men don't ever see a woman's worth after they didn't. Bullshit. Bullshit. Everybody can change. And I feel like whoever this man is, this man has suffered as well. So anyway, we have a bond here that is undeniable. And even though these people, these two people, may look a lot different, it's like they can't deny the attraction. The attraction is so, so, so strong. So anyway, there's an opportunity for extreme happiness here. There is. For two people to come back together. And work together. This is an equal opportunity because the Six of Pentacles. This is about, you know, working together to bring balance and harmony. It looks as though because a woman turned her back and moved in a new direction, this man is, you know, maybe he's choosing to stop crying. Stop crying over this spilled milk and stand up and pick up that two of cups and go bring her something. So... Justice is about to be served. That's, that's, that's all there is to it. The truth is about to come out. After we've had a man that has been extremely confused as to what to do. And it took this woman, woman turning her back completely for him to realize. And if it's not this man... That whoever it is, there could be some. There's a there's an opportunity for happiness here to come together with somebody that is absolutely your perfect match. And this could be somebody brand new. It could be somebody that sees your beauty, somebody that sees your worth, somebody that will respect you and take care of you. Either way, if you are this woman that has not settled. And does not chase because the empress doesn't chase. Be prepared to get exactly what you deserve. In a good way. Wish fulfillment and love. Because you turned your back on somebody that disrespected you and hurt you. This is not to say that this person that did that it isn't coming back because that could certainly be the person that comes back. The temptation to accept this offer is going to be Hard to resist. Really hard to resist. But. One more card. I'm looking up. Because I don't want to see the cards. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh good deal. Hard work pays off. This can work. If somebody puts a lot of work into it, if they if they put in effort, and don't give up. So it feels like we have somebody here that may want to come back that left. They want to put in the work. They want to put in the effort. They want to do the right thing. They want their wish fulfillment back. They want their happiness back. They want the love of their life back. Or they want the love of their life and that's what they're going for.
so yeah I feel like if you have been struggling in the relationship arena be prepared for some sort of offer that could bring balance and harmony to your life and lead you down a new path now this could be somebody brand new it could be somebody old it could be Either way, you are with the Empress card, you are going to receive a reward. You are. You are. For the pain that you have suffered. And if you are the Empress, you have multiple options. Multiple. She is the pick of the litter. Everybody wants her. She doesn't chase opportunities, and therefore, everybody wants her. So... If you are the Empress and you are a woman watching this, you have opportunities. And you're going to have to make a decision. could be between two people. It could be. If you are a man, you are probably interested in a woman and you know she has multiple opportunities. She does not settle. And if you want this woman and you're a man, you want this woman that doesn't settle and she's beautiful and she knows her worth, you're going to have to put in a lot of effort. And you're going to have to head in her direction because she's moving. Whether she's moving physically or she's moving in the love arena, she's making moves. She has multiple opportunities. Probably four. Probably four opportunities. And it's time for somebody to do the right thing. Let's get one little oracle card here. So anyway, I feel like there's an opportunity for happiness here. If somebody puts in the effort, works a little harder, goes after what they want... Uh, stops being blinded to the truth, makes that decision that they need to make in regards to this person that they know that they want. Because with that devil card three times, you can't deny it. That is an undeniable attraction that... <laughs> it's undeniable, okay? You can't deny it. You absolutely cannot deny it. And, you know, in order to have wish fulfillment, you're going to have to make the decision to tell the truth. That's what justice is. Decision... To tell the truth. A decision about truth. In regards to this beautiful woman. That has turned her back. She don't need to play those games. She, Like I said. She's the empress. She has multiple. Multiple. Multiple options. Either way. There's an opportunity for love here. There absolutely is. With a perfect match, like I said with that two of cups at the beginning. Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it. And you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. And that's what's happened here. We have, a, we have a woman that has stood her ground. And she's about to get what she, her justice, what she deserves, is about to, to be served. Whether it's with somebody new or with this person that left you high and dry. Could be both. Somebody wants to put in effort after they have been living in some sort of lie... Confusion for some time. They've been confused, unable to make a decision. It's like all of a sudden the decision has been made. This person's my perfect match. I know this person's my perfect match and I need to go after that perfect match. So if you have this connection with somebody and you know who it is, okay, you know who this person is and you know it's the perfect match. 
be prepared for some sort of perhaps even uh, connection, reunion. I keep wanting to say reunion. I hate to say that word. I, I don't like to say it. But um, it could be a re reunion. I love you. Maybe you just hear those words. I love you. I don't know. Looks like somebody has come to some realization that it's time to take a step in the direction of their heart's desire. Whether it's new or old, be prepared. It's coming. And that's what I have for today.